What fascinates me is usually when we are in the plane and we look at the clouds, because I want to know how they form, what they do, and why they do what they do, and see how, as human beings, we sometimes hurt the beauty of the sky. My specialty is analytical chemistry, focused on understanding the chemical composition of atmospheric particles and inhalable particles, actually to understand what type of particles are going into the body. So my lab was the first to put the levels of air pollution in Beirut on the map of air pollution worldwide. This whole thing started because when I go home, I get stuck in traffic. And I felt, how much of bad particles am I inhaling every time I spend one hour or more in traffic? And then I started to say, okay, what would be the best way to measure those particles? And then we came up with an idea of having a particle counter inside a van and we decided then to do a parallel measurements between Beirut and Los Angeles. And then when we looked at the content, that the level of toxicants were seven times higher than what we measured in Los Angeles. Seven million people die every year from air pollution, and 90% of these people live in developing countries. So we need to have a Clean Air Act worldwide. On the other hand, in terms of inhalable particles, there was a great belief among the population that all the smoke that is generated from water pipe gets dissolved into the water. People thought that this is a very healthy way to smoke. We showed that it's not true when somebody smokes like an hour of water pipe, this is equivalent to two packs of cigarettes. I live in a place where there is a great need to disseminate knowledge and to do research that is locally relevant. That's why I decided to do action research. I think knowledge is key in everything. So I believe in the power of people to change if we give them the right tools of knowledge. I take my education job at heart, especially with the women who work with me in the lab. I want them to stand up for their rights and I want them to fight for what they believe is good. I am a fighter and I want every woman to become a fighter.